Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I have made a ton of coins over just the past three days. As you can see in the top right, I have 92 messages and those are all players that have sold. Uh, I think there's a few like silver players in there, but everything else are players that I've gotten from one single filter. And this is a filter that I got from MMT. He put out a video a few days ago. If you don't know who MMT is, he's a Mad Mobile YouTuber. He's almost at a thousand subs, but he does a ton of coin making stuff. So definitely go and check him out. As soon as I saw this video that had this coin making method in it, this filter, I tried it out and it just started working super well. Um, so when I started using it, I was at about 1.3 mil and I'm currently at 20,000 coins. So I've used all of my coins um, and I don't actually know how much I've made because I haven't claimed my earnings from these auctions yet. And we're gonna do that right now. So after we do that, we're gonna hop into the auction house. I'm gonna show you exactly what filter I've been using, but we gotta get some coins first. Um, and as you can see, there's a, these are mostly uh, 98 players. There's a bunch of 65s in there as well. Um, but there's a ton of players in here that are all from this single filter. So we're going to go ahead and dismiss all. I'm expecting somewhere around three to four million coins, but I'm not sure. So we're going to go dismiss all and we're going to see what we get in three, two, one now. And Yo, I did not expect, I, I said three to four mil. We got 6.4 million coins. So if you, if you take off the 1.3 at the beginning, that's, I, I think, about 5.1 million coins that I've made off of one filter in three days. So let's go see what this filter is. So we're going to hop over to the auction house. It's beautiful to see that 6.5 mil right there. And this is how you build the filter. So you're going to go, overall is going to be 97 plus. Positions, you're going to select offensive tackle, O-guard, linebacker, D-end, and D-tackle, and then all of the special teams. Um, you're going to go to teams, and this is the, you know, kind of sucky part. You have to select every single team except for, oh, select all of them. You select every team except for the Dolphins, the Packers, and the Rams. Um, and then the price, you're going to put the buy now at 170k. And you're going to search, and this is the filter. So, uh, I'll talk about it for a second. Uh, there's a few players that are always in this filter and aren't usually snipes, uh, just because you see them here. So the Lawrence Taylor, the Alan Page, the Julius Peppers are uh, three of the main ones. There's a few others that I don't see in here right now, um, but I'll tell you right now that none of these are snipes. Um, I'm actually going to go up to 180k, and you can definitely fluctuate the price depending on your auction house. Um, I've been having it at 170k and I've obviously made a ton of coins in a really short time period. Um, the Dexter Lawrence is also another one. Um, the Daniel Hunter goes for a decent amount, but he's still one of those that you shouldn't buy just because you see him. Um, so what I've been doing in this filter is just sitting in it. And there's basically two kinds of snipes that you'll get in here. The first kind is you'll get one of these players, the, the LT, the Alan Page, maybe the Fred Warner, the Dexter Lawrence, uh, the Julius Peppers. You'll get one of those players for under 100k. And usually these players, they're at about 160k right now. Um, the past three days when I've been in this filter, they've dropped down to around 140 every day. Um, and so anything under 100k is really good profit. Um, and I've gotten a ton of them for 60k, 70k, 80k. Um, so those are easy profit right there. The second kind of snipe that I've been getting, uh, and I've got a ton of these, are offensive linemen um, and special teams players. And pretty much for almost every offensive lineman and special teams player that drops in this filter, it's a snipe. Um, and I'll show you at some point in this video um, a ton of the snipes that I got in this filter. But what I want to do right now is just see if we can get a snipe uh, while I'm making the video. So I'm just going to start refreshing the filter and I'm going to keep going um, until something drops and then I might buy it and I'll talk about it. So I'll see you then. So another thing that I just thought of to mention is that this is not a filter um, where there's going to be things dropping like 
super fast. Like the frequency of drops is not going to be super high, um, but I would say you probably get a snipe every five-ish minutes. Um, there have been kind of like spans where it's closer to 10 minutes, um, and there's been times where it's under five minutes. I'll get multiple snipes within five minutes, um, but usually it's around five minutes uh, in between snipes, which honestly is pretty good. And for making a ton of coins, like I'm about to make on this Joe Thomas, um, it's it's not much time at all. So Joe Thomas drops for 123,000 coins. I bought him immediately because I know offensive linemen go for a lot. So I want to make sure there isn't anything else here. Um, so there was, there's an LT that just dropped for 161. That is not a snipe. And there's an Alan Page that dropped for 140. That's also not a snipe. But however, the Joe Thomas, this is a snipe. So we're gonna we're gonna show you. So once you get a player and you don't know what he goes for, you go here, you type in his name, Joe, Joe Lowe, um, and then you search. I'm gonna put in 300k, and we're gonna see what he goes for. So there's quite a few here, but it looks like the lowest up is 220, um, and it's only actually been sitting for about 19 minutes. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sell Joe Thomas. His lowest up is 220. I'm going to post mine for 201. Uh, I would say rule of thumb, try to post your players for around 10% less than what the cheapest card is up for. Um, and then bid price, I usually go about 5k less, so I'm going to go 195. Um, and then we're going to sell Joe Thomas. Um, if he does in fact end up selling, we will make um, about... 180,000 coins off of him and I bought him for 123 that's about 60,000 coins profit really easily and there there was very little competition for him it, it very very rarely in this filter will you try to buy a player and you won't be able to buy him because someone else bought him first that that has happened maybe twice uh, to me uh, but let's let's hop back in let's see if we can get another one um, so here's a Josh Allen that ju just dropped for 170. He is also not a snipe. Um, he goes for under 200k. Okay, here's a Vinatieri. I'm actually going to search the Vinatieri because I'm not 100, uh, not 100% 100 sure. So I'm going to put 300 in for him. And he only goes for, so this is good that I looked him up. He only goes for 216. I've actually successfully sold, I think, three or four of him for exactly 216. Um, but it seems like I might only be able to post him for 200 and make about 180, which would be a 13,000 coin snipe. But it's a bit risky. I might not be able to get him to sell for as much as I would like. Um, and the profit isn't that big. So it, for me, it's not worth the risk. Here's some terminology uh, that I think is you know, somewhat important to share with you. I think it's just something that I made up, but it might be something other people talk about. Um, I've kind of created these two terms. Oh my god, give me Ogden. Give me Ogden. Whew. I'll get back to the terms in a second. But we just got another offensive lineman. Again, I said offensive linemen go for a lot. 133 for Jonathan Ogden is easily a snipe. And I'll, I'll talk about the, the two types of snipes real quick. Jonathan Ogden is a profit snipe because I am buying him to profit off of him and I can profit off of him. Um, I'm confident that he goes for more than 200k and I'll be able to make a significant amount of profit off of him. The other type of snipe is this Alan Page right here for 139999. That is a usage snipe. I call it a usage snipe because it's not um, it's not a card that you would be able to profit off of or significantly profit off of, um, but it is still posted for significantly less than the next cheapest option. So if you're trying to get an Allen Page on your team or for a set or something like that, uh, if you're trying to use the Allen Page, this is a snipe for you. So I call that a usage snipe. The Jonathan Ogden is a profit snipe because I'm going to be profiting off of him. Um, we'll refresh one more time and then we'll go and search for Jonathan Ogden. Um, I'm going to put in Van OG. Uh, we're going to go up to 300k. Hopefully I don't see any, but I'm pretty sure I will. So there he is. 253. That's honestly really good. I've got him for 133. I'm probably going to post him for about 233 and make around 80,000 coins profit. So he's up for 254. Um, I'm going to go 231, a little bit more than 20k less. 
um, and then 227 right there and then we'll go ahead and post him um, and he should sell and that's another easy you know profit right there um, we'll hop back into the filter one more time just to see if there's anything that's there right now but if there isn't uh, which there is not um, that is gonna be the end of the video um, I hope you learned something about the filter um, I hope you can make a lot of coins with it um, because I've obviously obviously made I think it was 5.1 mil in just three days which is actually insane and I probably could have made more but I kind of stopped myself so before I end the video I want to show you in the style of MMT all of the snipes that I've gotten from this one filter over the past three days uh, some are better than others um, there's a quite a few players that I was able to snipe um, and pretty much everybody sold. Um, I would say the profit I got from them ranged between about 20 to 30k all the way up to around 200,000 coins. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe as always, and I'll see you next time.